Welcome to our program on Kardec Radio. Welcome to our program on Kardec Radio. Hi, everybody. It is a pleasure and an honor to be here today with you guys. It is a privilege. Um, so I'm standing in for Rihanna, my mom, today. And um, I will be doing Living Spring with you guys today. It is a really exciting piece. Um, it really resonated with me. Um, because in all instances of our lives, we search for who we are. And I think the answer is more simplistic than we thought. Because we are all equal. None of us are more special than the other. Um, yes, we are unique, but none more special. So the, the story that we have today is be not deceived. And like I said, this really resonated with me because it's so true. Um, I think it will reign true for a lot of people and it will actually make you feel calmer about a lot of things that you feel like you have to be or so yeah let's just dig into it um so the piece is be not deceived let's open with a prayer first and then we can continue dear mother father god i thank you for being here today to share another beautiful message of comfort of what you want from us, of how we should be, and to be a better version of ourselves than yesterday, and strive to be a better version of ourselves tomorrow, to live in love and charity as your son Jesus Christ did. I ask you for guidance. I ask you that each and every person watching this can take something for themselves and feel uplifted. I ask this in your humble name. And so it is. Okay. So be not deceived. Are you looking at things only according to appearances? If anyone is confident that he belongs to Christ, he should remember that he belongs to Christ as much as he does. 2 Corinthians 10 verse 7. Do not be deceived about our common need of self-improvement. Many times by overestimating our true worth, we see ourselves as privileged people in the arts of spiritual growth. In such circumstances, we often thoughtlessly forget that others are doing much more for the good than we are. The firefly gives off tiny flashes in the darkness <clears throat> and imagines itself to be prince of light but then it discovers the candle flame that drowns it out the candle flame sits proudly atop a mantle and believes it is the absolute throne of light however there comes a day when the electric lamp shines from the ceiling and obscures the flame the lamp in turn becomes haughty and the public square but each morning the sun shines, illuminating the entire earth and paling both large and small planetary light. As long as the protecting of, as long as the protecting and educating darkness of the flesh remains, we are frequently the victims of our own illusions. But as the infinite brightness of the truth re returns with the renewal of physical death. We can see in the sun of the spirit world that divine providence is glorious love for all humankind. Do not exchange reality for appearances. Let us respect each accomplishment in its time and each person in his own or her, his and her due place. We are all brothers and sisters on the pathway of evolution and spiritual growth, although we are still caught between good and evil. Whether we act, activate our inferior parts, the shadow 
with others will be our company. From the point where we project our good path, the light of our neighbor will come to meet us. Each soul is an unknown to another soul. In light of this, it is not right to set the walls of our tranquility on the foundation of others' sentiments. <clears throat> Let us not be deceived. Let us correct whatever may be harm, harming our inner peace. And let us extend our fraternal arms and thoughts in every direction, being sure that if we have faults and virtues, when judgment time arrives, we will always receive in accordance with our deeds and by understanding that the goodness of the Lord shines on all without dis a distinction of person. Let us remember for our own and other people's sake, Paul's meaningful words. If anyone is confident that he belongs to Christ, he should remember that we belong to Christ as much as he does. This is so beautiful. We are all loved equally by God. None of us are loved more because of appearances, because of our beliefs, because of what accomplishments we have. The only thing that matters is your deeds at the end of everything. Not the way you look, not the way or what you have. Um, the only thing that is going to matter is your deeds and how you helped other people. That is the only thing that is going to matter. Um, love and charity. We are all equal. And that is beautiful because God loves all of us so much. We can never fathom that love. And we should remember that none of us are more special than the other. Rather, we are one resonating light that drowns out the darkness if we come together. So it is so beautiful that they... They used the light aspect to explain it because we are all lights. I remember Vanessa in one, um, one message that she gave, um, be the light that drowns out the darkness. Be the light that attracts good spirits, goodness, so you can help others. Be that light that shines out into the darkness. So it's really beautiful that this piece comes together with that. And it really reminds all of us that life has a purpose. We should just not go into the materialistic part of that. Yes, we do need a house and a car to, you know, do we have now we have earthly things. We, we need earthly things for our day to day lives. But the 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 worldly aspects should never take over from our spiritual well-being and our spiritual journey because that is the most important thing all of these things we're going to leave behind but we have to go to the other side so it is beautiful and a beautiful reminder that we are all in this journey together and individually we have the power to help each other shine that bright light. And we should remember that we go alone. Well, not alone, but yeah, you don't take anybody or anything with you. So it is a beautiful, beautiful story. A beautiful piece. I would like to end our session now with a prayer. Dear Mother, Father God, thank you so much for this resonating, beautiful message. Thank you for reminding us that you love us without boundaries or borders, that we all have lights to shine and that we can drown out the darkness as individuals and together through all of the goodness that you bestow upon us. Thank you for all of your love, all of your blessings each day. And thank you for the opportunity to be able to bring forth another message that may resonate with the right person at the right time, even if it just if it touches one soul. Thank you so much for this beautiful day. <clears throat> I ask this in your name that we can end the session, and so it is. Thank you guys so much.
for being with me today. It was a blessing to be able to be with you here today. And I hope you have a wonderful week ahead of you. Much love. Goodbye.